All right. Now, there's two ways to work out a resultant vector, okay? All right, so resultant vector number one is the single vector that has the same effect as all the vectors together. All right, that's why we add them all together. We can use two methods, as I just mentioned. All right, we can use the algebraic vector addition, all right, which is on the slides, or the tail to head method. Now, I need to teach you the tail to head method, of course, because it will come in the majority of the questions. Right, because the algebraic vector addition is very easy. So first of all, the tail-to-head method is a graphical way to add up vectors. All right, so our first step to doing this is first we need to draw the first vector. All right, so I'm going to draw the first vector. All right, here we go. All right, just imagine that to be a straight line. There's our first vector. This right, and I've indicated direction. I've used a length approximately, and I have indicated direction with the arrow head. Now, what we need to do, we need to draw, add the tail of the next vector, in other words, the end of it, to the head of the previous one. So here, I begin with my end or tail, and here's my second vector. Indicated direction once again. All right. Now, repeat until all the vectors have been added together. So, I'm going to draw another one and apply the same logic and the same steps as step number two. I'm going to add my tail of my next vector to the head of my previous one. All right. And there you go. There's my third vector. Let's just extend this line. All right, there we go. All right, and here I have a triangle. I have three vectors, one going up, down to the side, and back to the previous one at the end. Now what we do, we link the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. Okay, and so I have done that. I've linked the tail all right, of the first vector over here to the head of my last vector, right over here. The tail of my first and the head of my last is linked. All right, so that's the tail to head method, all right, for more than two vectors. So let's take a look at an example swiftly. So first, the example wants us to add the following vectors. We have F1 equaling to 30 newtons west, F2 90 newtons east, and F3 25 newtons west. So first, they want us to use the algebraic method. So the algebraic method is very simple. All we do is we uh, write it as our, our formula and we take in our direction. There's two wests and one east, so it's easier to take west this time as positive and east as negative. So, F net or F resultant is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3, all right, which gives us 30 plus negative 90 plus 25, gives us an answer of negative 35, all right, and when we see negative, we know that that's in an easterly direction because east was our negative direction. So we state that as our final answer of 35 newtons east. All right, now that was very simple, but the tail to head method is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So first we need to draw our vectors, okay? So our first vector has already been drawn in this case. So let's go draw our vector. So our first vector has already been drawn. Here we go, F1. Perfect. Then we're going to take the tail of our next vector, all right, and put it to our first one, just like we did over here. Add the tail of the next vector, or your second vector, to the head of your previous one. All right, so let's do that. There we go. And our next vector is quite a large one. So it's F2. All right, perfect. Then, the next step, 
for the tail to have method, remember, was repeat until all the vectors have been added, then link the tail of the first vector to the head of your last vector. So, just as in the picture, we link the tail of our first vector to our last. So there we go, our F3. All right, we apply step two first. Here we go, F3. Now we do the linking. Link, as again in the notes, right, pay attention. The link up the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. So the tail of the first vector, which is over here. All right, so let's link it up. Oops, no, let's try that again. Let's try that again. All right. Let's get a straight line going here as best as we can. All right. There we go. Ah, uh, slowly is the charm. All right. That's a little bit better. To the head of your last. And here's the head of our last. Okay. So that means in this direction here, this is going to be our F resultant. Okay, perfect. Now that we've got that, it's the same as the picture in the notes. All right, now we've done the steps. We've paid attention to the steps and so we've obeyed them, right? Now we can calculate. Now our scale is 10 newtons is to one centimeter. So therefore F1, equaling 30 newtons is 3 centimeters, F2, 9 centimeters, and F3 is 2.5 centimeters. Okay, now we can minus them, and what we get, the distance, or F resultant, is 3.5 centimeters. Okay, and that gives us 35 newtons, and our final answer is 35 newtons east. Okay, perfect. Well, class, that is the video on mechanics for uh, physical quantities, scalars, and vectors. I really hope you enjoyed the class and the